Gunner's drafting. Hmm. Interesting. This team has like five players who could all draft though. Like they all, they all are, uh, have a pretty good mind for, uh, drafting and captaining. So other than maybe monkeys, I, I could, I don't think monkeys is that interesting. Not, not like nothing. I mean, he's, honestly, I think monkeys is their best player. I'm just going to say, it. I think monkeys is a, is a, is a God tier player. Like that guy has really hit an apex recently. But with that being said, I don't think he's much of a, I don't think he cares for like drafting and captaining. He just kind of gets his hero, does his thing, owns. Spirit. All right. So I can see the storm spirit having a, a pretty good game. Like this doesn't feel like, yeah, you've got disruption. Maybe that leads into an Aether Remnant. And of course, when you get that Yules, you'll have the Remnant too. But I mean, if you use the disruption right now, your lockdown's Aether Remnant. Yules, you'd be not lucky good. to get that on the storm. Ten seconds remaining. Yeah, not not good. Um, you also have to be really Five careful here remaining. if you're plus one because you can have Sammy Boy play the Death Prophet and run like a Broodmother. Well, then you'd have to do like a Death Prophet offlane. Well, Monkeys Forever will play a a Death Prophet offlane, or sorry, a Brood offlane. They have done that before. So if you're not if you're not covering all your bases with this team. You, uh, you're going to get punished for it. These guys will will pick the cancer. Hmm. So I'm trying to think what they want to pick here. Shadow Demon, Ancient Apparition, Sports, Void Spirit should be the two, could be the three. Um, I mean, they, they certainly have openings. Yeah, I would love to see them get more control against this storm. Well, Shrak seems pretty good. I know they like to pick that hero. Uh, it just gives them more disable set up with the Shadow Demon. It clears the Chen army. Mm -hmm. uh, if they want to go carry that has some sort of disable for these heroes, so Ricky is pretty good. And uh, I know these guys like to play. DNM can, without a doubt, play Ricky. Most uh, NA carry players right now are Ricky spammers. Yeah, Ricky seems to be uh, pretty popular right now. Radiant Not that we've seen him too much today, but... Ooh, oh, okay. okay. Yeah, okay. I like that. I do like that. I think they need something with hard disable. I think if you're Zoomers, you probably consider banning Dragon Knight. Because they really need something with hard disable. Yeah. But Anti-Mage obliterates Storm Spirit and Death Prophet. They have such high mana pools. And are constantly out of mana. So, I get this. But you need disable for plus one. Like they they absolutely need to pick like a Dragon Knight right now. Mm -hmm. Five seconds remaining. Or like Beastmaster or something like that, but Beast is of course banned. Let's see, they need like an offlane or a mid. Windranger. I know Ched likes to play edgy heroes. So that's definitely one of them. He's not like a standard Puck. Well, actually, Puck would be good. Puck would be some disable. He could play that. Yeah, I feel like the Puck gives you a silence. You've got the lockdown. Wouldn't be bad to pick. Works with the lineup. Yeah, it really does. Let's see, though. Team really ban the Viper. Are they thinking... Hmm. I mean, could they go DK themselves if it doesn't get banned? They could. That would be cool. That would be really cool if they did that. And just go all in on the push with the Death Prophet DK Chen and give some space for Storm. Because you could go off lane Death Prophet, safe lane DK, or Ten even vice versa. Remaining. I think they Absolutely. Both have fit in those positions previously. Five yeah, definitely. Remaining. That that could be really good. Except See, now it gets weird for plus one. They're like, well... Team pick. Man, the Ursa. So maybe they're expecting Offlane uh, Death Prophet. I think so. I think if you play against Monkeys Forever a couple times in pubs, you know, he'll be he'll be Death Prophet 100% of the time. So uh, it's like Death Death Prophet or Batrider. Or he's Broodmother and just owning your face, lost pick mid. Ten seconds. So, yeah, See another. Well, uh, five seconds why remaining. not Brood? Convince me why not Brood. <laughs> I don't know. I think I think Brood would. I think Brood is. I feel like Zoomers would find a way to pick Brood. I know this is a Brood. They they their three cores all play Brood. Jeez. But we'll see with this last pick here. I still Radiant think Puck would be good. 
Okay. Centaur. So that basically solidifies the Void Spirit mid. You could also anti-mage mid against Storm, and it would do probably fine. Mm -hmm. And do like a side lane Centaur Void. If you wanted to be really edgy, but I don't know. We'll see. Ooh. Phantom you may now select your okay. Hmm. Offering Death Prophet still. And yeah. uh, Phantom Assassin. Jesus. Well, it's it's really good against the Anti-Mage. It, you know, you basically need, like, two items on top of the PA. Well, realistically, it was, like, 1.5 items on top of the PA as an Anti-Mage to deal with her. Like, PA shreds that hero. You cannot trade with the PA. So it's really good against the AM. It's not that great against Centaur and Lane, but they have the Chen to help out. They have Death Prophet to siphon the Centaur's health later on into the game. Like, the PA basically deals with the AM and the other heroes, and then the rest of the team can deal with the Centaur. I like it. I like it. I like the Zoomer's draft. They've got Harambe, too, so what's not to like? What is what is Antimage's name? Well, what do you see? V snares? That's what I see. No. I, mean, I just. What see... does it show for you? The Antimage's name is just. I'm pretty sure. Arabic, maybe. Oh, oh, he's the time draws nigh. He's got the long characters, right? This yeah. Is a super long name. Oh my god! Why does he do that? It's so annoying. <laughs> And pubs is pausing and well, wasn't tipping Brax, and... like Brax, 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 Brax yes. for the longest yes. time? Yes. God damn. Ruining it for all of us, guys. Let's see. What does it say? DNM. I mean, it, it says it at the end, but <laughs> I don't know what that says before. See you later, nerds. Or actually, it looks like maybe it's not even letters. It could just be a face. It looks like eyes. Bunch of eyes on a face. I have no idea. I have no idea. I don't. I don't see it. I see just DNM. <laughs> it's getting late in the day. I'm going crazy. You're losing it, dude. I'm losing. One of us is losing it. I think that's fair. We're at a point where uh, we're gonna go crazy. I'm trying to keep it together, man. What the monster is for keeping it together keep us energized keep us sane do they still sponsor the stream or are they uh are they out the moment we start talking about degeneracy no they're still in it cool they're still in it our boys that monster monster energy girls. keeping us energized i think you mean society they're in it oh gets a d award oh wait just kidding. He's denying his own ward. <laughs> he knows. Oh my goodness, that's so silly. Oh, what a what a patch we live in. What a patch. <laughs> oh my god, wait. Do multiple people have that name? All right, dude. All right. I, it just it came up in chat. <laughs> It came up as chat. DNM's name is way longer than it is over his hero. It said King. All these words or letters of another language. I have no idea, man. <laughs> it's, he's successful. And he's messing with you. And it's working. I, yeah, it's working. Time for the real, the real thing here. The real... The real cast, of course. DNM up top with uh, Juan. Is it Juan? No. Juan, yeah. Juan. All right. Yeah. So, yeah, this is uh, a I think trialing. so far. Yeah, definitely a PA favored lane against the anti mage, but two v three. That's uh, it's a little bit rough. You're gonna need some help up here for Sammy Boy in a little bit. Can you leave monkeys by himself, uh, monkeys forever, up against Jano? Yeah, I think so. I think so. I mean, you've percentage damage versus a strength hero, right? Uh, that sounds great to me. And your range, so how is he ever going to gap close on you? 
And if they're going to keep three heroes up here for the side of uh, plus one, I almost feel like you're okay keeping two as long as you can stay alive for four zoomers. Get the quicker yeah, experience oh yeah, definitely. on the Phantom Assassin. There is nothing that can stop this man. You know, get yourself quick to six. Have yourself that coup de gras. Yeah, she's uh, definitely a level dependent hero as well as maybe like one or two big items I mean, so if, if you can get a and, and shadow demon you can blow those two up oh yeah they feed they feed relentlessly especially ancient apparition i've been in that spot too many times up against the phantom assassin where you just don't get to play dota yeah look at this husky got the ice armor creep and he sent it mid to gunner so Gunner's got ice armor to work with for the next, I don't know, 30 seconds or so. I could ping it, but... Nah. We're not going to be those guys. I'm always That's that guy. That's everybody else. That's not I'm us. I'm surprised I haven't done it today. I've seen, uh, you know, the other studios do it, and it just makes me want to ping something more. Spam ping the players when they mess up. That's a really good way to be. Uh, That's what I do in pubs. So they do end up bringing Ocean up here. I think it makes sense. You have three potentially winning lanes now with this. Well, mid is even, but two winning lanes. And if Husky wants this creep, you can get a Harpy Storm Chaser. Crafter. Sorry. Yeah, and that gives you uh, two Dyer's Chain Lightnings has been with three regen on the, on the mana. So, you know, yep. you can always throw your way. He doesn't seem interested in it though. He wants to keep the He wants to keep the ice armor creep. Very cool. I like I like that idea. I mean it's very low, but five armor? Deny it? Twenty five percent move slow? It's nuts. Gives it to Sammy Boy one last time. Someone said AM is Boris. AM is not Boris. By the way, DNM is in the one position. After it says no way. In, the, in the five, I uh, just <laughs> on Wikipedia. I know we know that, but who said who said that's Boris? I don't think that's Boris. DNM's an actual person. Uh, somebody in chat. That's a good Dyer's glance. Something I'm not supposed attack. to do. Gunner, electric vortex damage on the Juan is tough for him to deal with, but they've got the cold feet. He'll get first blood. He'll freeze over, and yes, he's got first blood, but. Also loses his own life jet. Your life served no purpose. Oops. So yeah, Wiz, <laughs> Wiz, Wiz is the four. Oh yeah, so yeah, yeah. I'm just looking at because I'm, I'm I'm comparing Liquipedia now. To yeah, Wiz is a Wiz is a four player for sure. <laughs> I mean, I've four. never seen Juan play. Like, if Juan plays anything other than five, it's just feed central. I mean, no offense, I mean he's a fantastic five, but. Telekinesis. Maybe it is trouble. The right feet. It will proc, but nobody to follow that up. So Am's getting a good amount of farm, like thirty-one and six. It's the good life. Hard matchup though. Come mid game for Am against this PA. Good, good matchup against the storm, though. So leads to <laughs> even draft overall, relatively. Mikey is still gonna need that battle fury, and you know he's gonna need those items. Whereas PA, what you can go Deso, start moving around the map and and hitting a lot of these heroes pretty hard. Yeah, definitely. Once you get that Deso, you can just jump on AM and he needs to blink out. There is zero way that he can trade with you. He needs a Monkey King bar. Honestly, the way to deal with PA as an AM is just letting other people deal with the PA. Killing PA lost. There's no point in itemizing against her because you have to be so far ahead at that point. Like, why not just have your team kill her? Uh, Monkey's forever solo kills Jano. With the X. With the ult. Yeah. I'm surprised because I saw him get Jano low before, but I thought Jano. I, you can see where he died. 
dead under the tier one tower. So Monkey's Forever just playing up. Yeah, abusing the fact that Jano's only level Dying five and he's level six. Let's get him some damage on the bot tower too. So Juan takes over mid, and Ched is looking to potentially rotate. Although he's back to mid. There's a DD. Gunner TP top. And yeah, they're gonna go for this AM. So level six, it's not the easiest kill at the moment. <laughs> Stuck wing dagger going back to Sammy boy. And now they don't have telekinesis to work with. So Gunner's up here, what, just to get this stack? I think it's fair to start breaking down the lanes right now. Like, you don't... Gunner has a poor man shield. <laughs> okay, he hands it off to Sammy now. I mean, you don't want to just sit mid and wait to get ganked. Monkey's Forever, though, looks like he's hitting bot and waiting to get ganked. Did he scout with the courier? I think he might have scouted with the courier. Yeah, it looks like they saw Ched. Mm -hmm. He's playing pretty far up. Wish. Trying to get the disruption. Aether Remnant on it. Monkey's Forever now in some trouble. Janna will get on him. He had the Spirit Siphon. Can he survive this? Dissimulate. He's doing well with the Spirit Siphon. On a two of these heroes, they just can't kill Monkey's Forever. Janna, he gets low. One more shot from Sammy Boy should be enough. But back a bit more forward. Wish. He's on the run from Monkey's Forever. Six, six stacks of uh, the Shadow Poison. But finally, Monkey's Forever. He chases this long after surviving for so long. Ocean! Oh, man. He survives? For the Shadow Poison? Oh. Ched gets the kill. I mean, he's got a DD. He's doing a lot of damage. Ocean might be dead, too. Aether Remnant lands. He should die here. Oh, so from the Stifling Dagger. I'm shocked. Ocean doesn't have telekinesis, and now Ancient Apparition shows up. It's a level 6 PA. Lucky you only got cooted rod once, you would have been dead quicker. Just some free gold for Sammy. Exactly how this hero likes to get gold is just killing enemies. Monkeys takes over the top lane. You don't want to put your PA in harm's way, and I think this top lane is uh, is about to get dirty. This is uh, There's going to be some action up here. Usually the first place you like to siege is that enemy safe lane. Dyer are scanning. DNM. Just up here looking for that battle fury, but Sammy Boy hits top of the net worth. And he's gotta be happy with that. He's actually going battle fury too, so he's not going into the desolator. Gunner hmm. doesn't get caught out. Dyer's Almost. They had the vision. But he kind of went into the trees there. Yeah, I mean, I, I feel like Battle Fury is just a fantastic item right now in general. It just gives you so Radiant much damage, and you can cleave on killed. heroes as well. Like, it used to be just for farming, but it's it's for, it's for fighting as well now. Push the uh, AM back off this tier 1 tower. Monkey's forever going to farm the creep wave. Has exorcism rolling. Radiance middle tower. And with his creeps pushing in, he'll clean up the creep wave and go after the tower. They got two outposts, too, on zoomers. And three bounty runes so far. There's only one that's still there, and it's deep in the triangle. Dyer's top tower has fallen. And this is already a 4,000 net worth lead for zoomers. You just almost see the skill, a gap coming into play. And I, yep, I don't definitely. mean that in a rude way. It's just in an evident kind of way. No, I, I think it, I think it's true. I mean, this is a, a fresh team, right? This Demon Slayer's team. And I think individually, we, we talked about this the first time we saw Zoomers. Like, these guys are at, a, at an absolute apex in individual skill for all of them recently so they're uh they're definitely hitting their stride and this can last a week in na dota or it can last months uh we'll see but i have high hopes because na dota has been really interesting lately so i'm glad that they're owning radiance bottom tower Jeez. is under attack Rubik already level six gets that resonant pulse himself in ags 
And Gunner's just <laughs> back here farming. I mean, look at this. He's back on the enemy side, just continuing to farm. Yeah, that's uh, so devastating to this Dyer's AM who's just looking for anywhere to farm. I mean, if the AM's getting farm and Gunner's farming the other jungle, then that means some core is not farming. Like, this is exactly where the gold lead comes from. This is exactly where, like, the skill difference is, is farming like this. Okay, net worth lead still for zoomers as Sammy Boy stationary bottom should be able to get to the Battle Fury first. He's 600 gold ahead. Yeah, and with the, it, it, I mean, if he can keep pace with the AM, it's just not possible for him to to deal with the AM or to deal with the the PA rather. So there's a lot of pressure on the rest of plus one to to do something. And they, they look like they're going to go try to smoke. They're trying to kill Sammy, but he is out of there. Yeah, into the jungle, has enough for the Mithril Hammer. Um, you know, has enough for the Perseverance if you wanted to go that direction first. But goes to the damage, goes to the Mithril Hammer, the rest of the team invading the dire jungle they'll look towards me and astral step but well ocean he's got resonant pulse so he'll survive a little bit longer the ball ending all the way in on the chain electric vortex hits Wiz. they'll use the exorcism ocean survives Wiz goes down and the tier one tower next in the sights of four zoomers as if there wasn't enough for him on the map for the zoomers they're about to take the mid tower so we'll open up Potentially Roshan, this will open up the enemy that triangle if they want to make their way there eventually. Husky even gets a D ward. They've got a nice split going on on the map. Like, they always have somebody pushing a side lane and farming while Sammy Boy is just chilling bot. While Gunner continues to take their jungle, so annoying. Yeah, you're choking out where Anti-Mage has the opportunity to farm, and he is progressing pretty slow on this Battle Fury compared to Sammy Boy, who's just one component away, or one component's worth of gold away. Yeah, and he's, uh, I mean, he's just stuck in his tr own triangle now, and with that mid-tower going down, it's uh, much easier for the Zoomers to eventually make their way into that triangle. Spirit, meanwhile, going into the Bloodstone and then Monkeys Forever. As the Yules continue to farm, sitting, you know, above everybody on the side of plus one uh, in terms of net worth. It, it really hasn't proven to be an easy game for them so far. And this is, it's rough. It's rough to deal with. And this isn't a game where their primary win condition, the Anti-Mage, is in a, in a countered position. And sure, you could say the same thing about Storm Spirit, but... You know, you follow the, the food chain, and up at the top is Sammy Boy on this PA. And he's very farmed. Just about has, uh, has this Battle Fury. They'll look over. Got the Chen. Ice Blast comes in. So they will kill Husky. That's one. They want to go after Sammy Boy. And there's the disruption, but he's not the easiest to kill. And just blink strikes away. Yeah, that'd be a huge kill if they can get him. I mean, I like that, uh, keep wanting to call them Demon Slayers. I like that plus one are occupying this jungle now. This gives space for Anti Mage to farm while also letting them farm. If they do this on their side of the map, the only jungle they can do this in is their jungle, but Gunner's there. You know, so it's. This is exactly what they need to do if they want to progress the game forward, or at least hold the farming to be static and not just losing. Storm again. Battle Fury into the death zone next. Sammy Boy is going to start to really put up some farm. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. The longer this Dyer's takes for the Anti Mage, the more dangerous it's going to get, but he's not too far away from it. The question is, Radiance what does Sammy Middle Boy Tower do from here? Structures are fortified. And they're up 6k. Like, a lot of this is on just. 
the the anti falling over with the stifling dagger looks stop hits on a monkeys forever and maybe not the hero that you want to be hitting with the stun because everybody else being available to you is a big problem and i believe yeah they stole the stampede so the chen army was given a big quick chase over on the side of plus one and they were forced all the way back Honestly, I hate that matchup on, cent on Centaur. Like, Rubik steals that 100% of the time. Uh, retaliate doesn't work. I'm 90% sure Retaliate doesn't work, but he can't steal that. It's really annoying. Ice Blast comes in, and the Astral Step. This is not going to be that easy. Monkey's forever. Yes, he's dead, but you lose Wiz, you lose Juan, and now Gunner is starting to have himself a field day. Team H does get his Battle Fury, but Sammy boy, he's got his as well. Going for that Deso. Dyer's top tower is under attack. See you later, nerds. Ooh, those are good items. Both teams. You are in the Grove Bow. Let's see, no good, no good Grove Bow heroes though on plus one. You you would have liked to get that on Storm or Death Prophet if you're Zoomers. Kill all the very over. Nice Telekinesis, easy kill here on a Ched. That's with the Bloodstone, too. Gunners building up those stacks. Radiance bottom tower what do you do? Under it's just opening up the map more and more for Sammy Boy, who's just 1500 gold away from having this Deso. Oh, Husky. Oh, they have Gunner TPing down. Wow. He can maybe chain lockdown. And a god telekinesis, centaur stomps coming in, gunner with the vortex, down goes Jano, Sammy boy, we've got a kill on a Juan behind the tier 2 tower. Husky, man, he's just too tanky. With the dom and with the hand of god and all the creeps. Big tanky boy. Interesting he went for this dom build instead of a mech. But I like it. I mean, this is what people are doing with the core Chen. And uh, it feels pretty good. The Dalmor is just such a such an effective aura. I mean, it gives PA plus, what, 30 damage? Regen as well. God, he is ripping into everything. Has that level 2 in the coup de grace. Over here now. A gunner already 16 bloodstone Dyer's charges. He's keeping up with the PA, who's got a battle fury. Doing a great job. Dyer's bottom tower has fallen. Yeah, you always have to be so careful with the Battle Fury Dyer's hero on one team and then, and then also a storm. It's like as if the Battle Fury guy's not a big enough problem. You have the storm who's basically a full blooded carry to deal with. We're just getting blown up. And there's the Deso. To be delivered. Amazon Prime. Oh, it's a party! Juwan's got to be careful. He can just get ripped to shreds from this PA. I'm pretty sure Sammy Boy at the Deso can literally one-hit Juwan. 900 HP. He can surely crit for 900. Yeah. My thrift rewarded. Dagger into just a one-shot. Yeah. Oh, gosh. There's the Deso. 12,000 net worth lead. Oh, there's Juwan. Go ahead, one-hit him, Sammy. Oh, they found the anti-mage. And uh -oh, Vortex, Exorcism, the damage. It's not enough just yet. They really want to get him Stifling Dagger too late because Gunner takes the kill. That is... Uh, it's just not building up the way they want for this anti-mage. Yeah, the, the PA pick was... Definitely, uh... Vortex in, onto the Shadow Demon, Cycling Dagger! Sammy Boy with kill. Killsteel. What a stomp, man. Early game, just so well played by Zoomers. Like, the very first Bounty Outpost spawn, like, that's, that's where they really took the lead. It certainly feels like they could go to end this game if they wanted to. 
with the Aegis. It's timing out in 36 seconds, but a lot of time to go with. So they're just going to hold the triangle here and use Chen to, to pull back. Radiance top tower is under attack. Monkeys can get there pretty quickly. He's got the outpost in TP2. They're smoked. I just don't know if this is really going to lead to anything. You go after the Chen, and yeah, you got him. But it's Chen. Let the fun begin. Yeah, it doesn't amount to much. I mean, it clears them out of your triangle at least, but that's uh, you know, that's the last beacon of hope for you. So you you better you better hope that you can farm there. They need to move out further than just that. See you later, nerd. See ocean. Stamp this would be good. Astral Sept. Can they get the kill here on ocean? They have the lockdown, and we'll finish him off. Still, it supports. What else can you get? And if you get these two supports and then you lose the centaur, it's not exactly an amazing feeling. You do lock down Gunner for a second, but they've still got the silence. Juan is dead to Sammy Boy off screen. They'll kill off Jano. Sammy Boy is looking for Wiz. He thought about it. Didn't quite have the vision, though. DNF's farming right on a ward. Sammy's waiting for his blur. God, Husky was waiting for him. Almost caught him. Gunner's got his Orchid now, so not so easy for AM to be blinking around like this without the Manta. There's a window here to kill AM really easily with Gunner. net worth lead and it just feels as though plus one or choked out oh yeah definitely gutter's got a regen two to work with now so he can do a big zip hmm. i mean does the ever Sammy feel board? big enough to fight back it's just gonna be him and he's back three thousand net worth from the, from the pa Radiant no, <laughs> it's a really rough matchup. Uh, he's got to kill Gunner, basically, in these fights. Like He's got to hope that Gunner does some huge zip and is totally out of mana, and he can kill the PA. That's kind of his only hope. That, that's not a bad start. Yeah, now low on mana, but he's got the regen. Vortex, telekinesis, the catch, the silence. Jano. He'll taunt, but it's in vain. You're definitely dead, and Gunner's playing with him. He's literally playing with him. I think he was trying to not cancel the regen on his uh, retaliate, but funny enough, it used the entirety of the regen mana to do that. He's got his courier scouting Roche, which will respawn in about a minute. Uh oh. In with the ball lightning, in with the electric vortex, not one but two. Gunner, Sammy Boy, they'll both uh, be in it for a kill piece. This is continuing to just be in a, a slaughter. And Gunner's 8 1 and 4, Salmon Boy's 8 0 and 7. They really haven't slipped up at all. They have not. Like they just wanna they just wanna end it. Sammy is just sieging mid by himself. And there doesn't look to be much that plus one can do to stop him. With the AA respawning, maybe. You have to be a little careful of the AA blast, but. Ocean's looking for anti-mage. 
He is in the trees. He might TP out. He's been pretty patient down or pretty uh disciplined down here on DNM. Up top still. Juan, he wants to get close to any of this, but uh, he's almost trying to bait him into the Aether Remnant. I don't really think that, that uh, that's going to happen. However, I say that, and Monkey's Forever... Oh, did he BKB as he died? Yes, he did. He did. He did. And Roche is up. So, really good timing for plus one, but still 17k gold deficit, and Monkey's Forever does have his buyback. I don't think they're going to be able to rush. They do not have the damage. Oops. Radiance courier has been killed. Tokinesis, dagger, two shot. See you later. In the rush they go. Second each. Invisibility. Don't even need muggies forever. They buy back, which I guess throws them out of the pit. I don't know if that's necessarily needed. But you don't want to get caught with your pants down. I guess that's for sure. Smoke comes out from both teams. They're doing, they're doing the same move. Oh, no. Radiant's top tower is under Two attack. ships passing clock, in the night. Counterclockwise. Go all the way around, and then they'll know that they're there by taking the outpost. Which I never understood that move. Why not just keep the outpost doing its thing? Radiant are scanning. I guess just because you know that they already probably know. Lining in, Gunner looking for a target, finds himself Ch Chen and Wij. Or Chet and Juan, sorry. Telekinesis comes in under the Void Spirit. They'll get the kill into the Ancient Apparition. Dissimulate from Chet. As well as the disruption through out onto Gunner. Behind this all, though, the Anti Mage is trying to fight. Jano dies, Ocean gone. And a little bit further down the line is this Void Spirit who's trying to get away from Gunner. Gunner doesn't have a lot of mana to play with, and the Aether Remnant's down. PKB was popped by Monkeys forever. Sammy Boy. He's just going into the basher, continuing to farm, and maybe back in a rush. Yeah, when he gets that basher, anti mage has to play a lot more afraid. If witch kills it, though, that'd be pretty good. He's not in position. Jano comes in, hoof stomp. It's on a Sammy boy, but Wiz, he's got. Jano tries to run, but he's silent, and Sammy boy just rips him up. Paper. Literal paper. Life as a shadow demon. Chad's trying things, but oh, comes in hit with the Yules, ages into the hands of Gunner. Ice blast coming through, but now well, they're still looking to get this kill out on a Ched. They've got the vortex to have the silence, and Sammy Boy will wrap him up. Sign seal delivered right into the hands of four zoomers. Probably just run down a lane now and end. Stupendous. Really, really difficult fight here. One more item for plus one neutral item. Maybe they can get something real broken. Although the tier three items are not. You know, they uh, they want a repair kit. That's what they want. Let's see. What do they have? Yeah, they've got one, okay. That'll help them defend. They gotta use it, though. Exorcism used. They'll take the tier 3. They go up to the rack. Should be quick. Tier 2 bottom, but creeps pushing in top. They could just formulate this move towards the top lane or go for the tier 4s, and that's exactly what they're gonna do. A couple of shots comes in from Sammy Boy to kill off Juan. Electric Vortex hits onto Wiz. They'll get Wiz, they'll get Shade. Wiz buys back. But what else do they really have? Jano? He's not getting too far, but maybe he makes it into the well. Just short on the stairs. Anti Mage comes in. Yes, Storm is out of mana, but yes, he's got a second life. 
So, oh, jeez, Sammy boy. Two shotting Wiz off the buyback. Is Am really gonna end the game one, one, and one? Oh, Gunner. All right. But now Mana Void's on cooldown for 70. Gunner can just go again. Sammy Boy with a kill on Juan. And to me, the only one who's left. Dive and, him. Uh, yeah, do it. Go for it. You got Make him. Make him negative. There it is. Sammy Boy dives in, gets the kill. Gunner in there to help him out. And game one will go into the hands of four Zoomers. Who, by the way, tweeted that they are the self-proclaimed best team in NA. Just don't know that yeah, I tweeted my opinion. Back at him. <laughs> Plasma's the best team in NA. Um, all right. Well, that was a stomp. That was uh, clinical, oh, as they sure. say, from Zoomers. Just they won the lanes. They they lane better. Uh, their rotations at like the five and and particularly ten minute mark led to two outposts, three bounties, and a, a great farming position, basically. They had more heroes farming than plus one had for like three minutes. And in total, that's all it takes. If, if you get that much off the map in three minutes time, even with the lack of gold that's on the map right now, there is nothing that the enemy team can do after that because there's no comeback gold, right? So five, six K gold lead because of a few minutes of having a blunder and you, you don't smoke, you don't do anything. Uh, you you basically you're doomed, right? But but that's that's the thing is like it it, it really it really just seems like uh, zoomers are so many steps ahead of, of plus one in this game. There like wasn't even a chance. Yeah, and uh, for zoomers, they're trying to make that name and title stand and stick. Eighteen oh and nine for Sammy Boy, great performance there. Eleven one and eleven, uh, make a wish from Gunner. And yeah, I mean, four Zoomers, they're looking to take the 2-0. They're looking to be, uh, they're looking to go to bed. <laughs> yeah, they're, they, hi, no monkeys forever wants to go to bed. They'll be one and one at the end of this, which would be great for them. I mean, again, any series that you can take a 2-0 on uh, pushes you closer and closer to the upper bracket. So we'll see what they uh, end up with if they go 2-0. We'll be back with that in just a moment. I'm your caster, Cop, joined here by Jenkins at Cop 92 on Twitter, at JenkinsDota on Twitter. We'll be back in a second with game two. Stay right there.